Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dominic, a.k.a. Dom the Cyber Genius, and I'm coming back to you guys with another video. This week, we're going to be going over Hydra, and we're going to be doing the official walkthrough on TriHappy. Now, let's get it started. So as you see here, we've already load, I've already loaded up Hydra. I've done this room already, but I just wanted to walk you guys through it. So just a little, I would highly encourage you guys to read through this. It's really, you know, important. It gives the context of what Hydra is. But for the short term, I'll just say Hydra is a tool that is used in Kali Linux to brute force passwords. So it's a cra password cracking program. And what it does is that it allows you to kind of crack passwords for different remote services, right? So something like a SSH, IMAP, FTP, HTTP, Git, Inform. So it's a lot of cool stuff that it allows you to do. It's one of the, you know, cooler, or I guess cool password hacking or password cracking tools we, we would use. It's kind of similar to John the Ripper. It's just whatever you prefer in the syntax. So now, and then this also goes over kind of installing Hydra if you don't already have it, but I believe it comes pre-built within Kali, so you should be fine. But if not, this is where you can go and find it. But then you'll just click here. And then now this one is just going into, let me start the machine real quick. This one is just going into, what is it? Kind of just the Hydra commands and kind of what they actually are. And this is gonna be just going over those commands, going over the options It allows you to do. These are kind of the commands we're gonna be using or the syntax you would use for breaking in the SSH. You know, it does post web form. So anything you think of like login forms, that's what it does. Just to go over SSH, that means secure shell. So this is remoting in to a device or a, net, a device or a host and being able to do it remotely and then have a secure connection where your connection and stuff and the traffic you do is encrypted. So that's all, that's always cool. So these are gonna be the two things we use. I'm gonna put a cheat sheet down below to give you guys all the other operators and, and things you're able to actually brute force. But these are gonna be the two main things that we use. And these are kind of the, I would say, operators that allow you to do it. So I'll get into those later. But now if you want to, what is it? Go ahead and copy the clipboard. Now we can go ahead and get started. So now, I believe I'll go here and go. Sorry if y'all just saw it and I kind of just messed it up. But I'm going to show you guys how to get it. You got, even if you did see a little bit of the answer. It's, you can, I guess that's, it's all right, but you want to really know how to actually do it. And then so you can actually speak to it. So the first one is use Hydra to brute force Molly's web password. So if you look up here, we're going to be using this one. So the post web form. So by the looks of this, we could run a regular MAP scan, but I already know what it kind of is. So this is. This is basically what you're gonna run it run into. So this is the HTTP form or the login form that you're gonna be running actually into. So then this is Molly. So then we could just try say anything, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, it doesn't work. So we're gonna then use Hydra to actually brute force those credentials. So now, now that you see that we have it, let's go back to this, boom. And let's just take this right here. I highly recommend if you're ever running, because a lot of these password cracking tools or Kali tools that require you to put in word lists and things like that, those things are typically going to be long. So I highly recommend if you're dealing with long commands and long syntaxes like this, I would highly recommend you just copy and pasting and then just filling it in. These are just there as placeholders, but then you would just fill whatever it is with that information that you have. So then go back here. So then you can do control shift B. Right. So then this right here is gonna be Molly, right? Because that's what they were saying. And then if you see here with the dash L, the reason that's a lowercase is because we're doing with one single username. So that one's gonna be lowercase. If it was capital, kind of like this dash P, then that means we would have been doing with maybe a group 
of names and maybe those groups of names were been, were put into a text file so then that's kind of you know the that would be the operator we would use for that but for in this instance we're going to be using the lowercase dash l for the username we're basically telling hydra can you brute force the um what is it the username or can you brute force to get, to get the password of this username and then now we would go to the word list that dash p is just there to signify that we're um using a word list to crack it and I believe the thing that we're going to be using here is just rockyou.txt. That's a simple word list that has commonly used passwords. And that's passwords that have been, I, be, I believe, breached or cracked before. If you really want to get re real in depth to it, sec list is really good. You could use any word list here for you if you want. But just for this instance, for it to be easier, we'll use the um, rockyou.txt word list. Share. Word list slash .txt. Boom, and then they even do a good job for us to even put the IP of the target. So then now we'll just go ahead in here. It's in front of the, I believe the slash, we have to put something, so give me one second. I believe in front of the slash, it's a, Leave it's a dash login so give me one second I'm trying to see is it if it's like that and then you could off you could do the dash v that's just for going to be verbose so that's going to bring out a lot of information or all the information if you don't just if you don't want that and you just want the password then you could just go like that and then now should work i believe i have the it's going to take its time now so i believe i do have the there we go boom we just got it Perfect. It actually worked. When you're ever dealing with like word lists and things like that, I think you have to extract them for them to actually work. But in this instance, we were able to get Molly's password, right? So kind of just explaining this. So Hydra is the brute forcing tool. We said Hydra, Hydra, we basically told Hydra, can you please brute force the password of Molly? We want you to use rocky.txt to do that, the word list, and we want you to do that on the target web forum, which is this IP address right here. And then this would be the syntax for getting that username as well as password. So then we could go over here. We could, we could just, since it's sunshine, we could then go like this. Boom. There you go. Now see right here, even though this is your boy Hercules, we don't want him, he's whatever, but this is basically how you got your first flag. So then you would copy this into try Acme, and then that would be the first question that would be answered. So that's how you get the first flag. We basically just used Hydra to brute force this web form to get Molly's password. So now that's where you would go down here. We would scroll down, boom. Now we're gonna use Hydra to brute force Molly's SSH password, right? So if you look, this was the SSH. Um, these are kind of the two ways you can do it. So you can do SSH like this, where whatever um, FTP is put there for the filler text, but any remote service, you can put it like this. But I recommend you guys just doing it like this one, because you can always do it. It's just different ways, different syntax. It's however you want. So let's go here. Now let's go control string V. Umali again. Then we'll go user slash so share. Swear this. Oops, guess they didn't want to let me tab right there. There we go. And then if you see right here, the dash T, that's just for thread. That's kind of like Nmap. So it's kind of just like Nmap when it comes to thread. With this one, we're saying, can you please just use more threads to speed it up? This is in case, like, say we're dealing with like, a real database or a really big database and it has millions of passwords right or we're doing it with a word list that has millions of passwords we want to kind of use a faster thread 
you know, to get all those passwords. But I know sometimes the threads can make noise when you're actually doing a pen test. But then, yeah, I believe that should be good. And now we go here, should do its thing. It takes one moment. And then we about to get this stuff, baby. Watch it take forever. I swear Cali be doing this. But it should finish up just one in just one moment. Ever. There we go, finally. Boom, now we got it. There we go. So we this is this green text will know that we were able to get the login for which was Molly, and then we were able to get the password, which is butterfly. So then you would take that butterfly password and then enter it. Or what is it? You would then take that butterfly password and I believe you would log in again. To the the form so give me one second and do butterfly oops hold on molly sunshine Damn it. oops i messed it up y'all and then now we are able to get molly's ssh password so now I believe this is where we actually have to go to log in and SSH in her password or to get it or SSH into it. So this is us being rem remotely logging into Molly's server or uh, server or device. And we're doing it with a secure connection because it's SSH. So you go SSH, then the username that you're trying to log into, Molly, at, and then the IP address of the target. So 10.10.04.20. Should load up. I swear Cal the Cali guys don't like me today. They do not like me today. The Cali guys is tripping on me today, y'all. Let's try to do it again. I don't know why it's not letting me SSH into it. Yo, come on. Oh, this ain't even letting me do nothing. Why is it not letting me log in? Am I not? Let's see, we got the right IP. There we go. I don't know why I was doing that. I think I had I had the same. I swear Kali always trips on me. Yes, we want to connect, y'all. Now it's gonna connect. Now we're gonna ask for the password. If you remember, it was butterfly. You go ahead and copy that. And then go down here. Go to paste selection. Now we're in. Now you would see the user. We're in Molly. And we're on the target machine. So now we go ahead and do ls. Do the ls flag.2.txt. So then now, if you want to go ahead and do cat. Bam. 
now we got the second flag and now you would go ahead and copy that and then paste it into you'll go ahead and paste it into this now everything should be good to go and you should be done with the Hydra room. And besides that, I believe that's it for the Hydra room. I hope you guys liked it. I kind of wanted to get on here and just do a quick little tutorial on Hydra. It's a really cool tool. I'm pretty sure if you showed anyone Hydra and how fast a password will be cracked, they will definitely change their password instantly. But hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, share, leave comments. I'm going to try to, you know, I'm trying to put out way more con content than I was. But besides that, I'm out. Peace.